Welcome back to the Digital Ledger, everybody. Please hit the like and subscribe. I want to thank each and every one of you. We are over 1,300 subscribers in just nine days. This is impressive at the rate this channel is growing. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here and subscribing and being a part of the conversation. So let's talk about this. Something you should know about a level playing field. Now, when it comes to a level playing field, this is a terminology that we've been hearing for quite some time from all the leaders, financial, government officials. They're all using this term about a level playing field. Those of us in the crypto space, especially the XRP community, understand this terminology to mean that XRP can level the playing field. In a great regard, that is absolutely accurate. The thought of a neutral asset being between all of the currencies of the world, so that way everybody's currency is basically a national currency, and there won't be a real need for a global reserve currency. The macro notion of this is pretty easy to understand. Knowing that the U.S. dollar is the global reserve currency currently, we understand that the Triffin Dilemma is what exists with the U.S. dollar. The Triffin Dilemma is when you have a national currency that serves as a global reserve currency, and when policy decisions are made, you have to make a decision either to favor national policy, domestic policy, or global policy. Oftentimes, more than not, no matter which decision is made, whether it's on a domestic level or on a global level decision for that currency, it's affecting the opposite in a very negative way. Understanding that the idea of a neutral reference point like an asset, decentralized asset like XRP, could help solve and remedy this situation is but one part of the equation. Let's take a look at what I believe the second part is. Currently, right now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 9.74%. Before hitting the record button, we were down more than 10%. We are 2,200 plus points down on the morning. It is another bloodbath in the traditional markets. This is what an economic collapse looks like at my house. I have been covering for a very long time on the Investment Perspectives channel, and especially with my co-host on Friday's Cryptopolis, we have been covering the idea that the recession had already been in the banking sector, and now it is showing up in the traditional markets. What does this mean when it comes to a level playing field? Because I think we all clearly understand what a level playing field means and what XRP can do as a liquid global asset, as a supplement to global trade and cross-border payment settlements. Obviously, there are many other verticals that can be pursued and are being pursued with Ripple and the Spring Project that are really going to be amazing as well. But for now, let's keep the conversation in these two areas. A level playing field, we have heard the recent administration in the United States and the President Donald Trump ask for and pound the ground that the Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell give him zero and negative interest rates like what? Like many other nations around the world currently have. Yesterday, at 6 p.m., Jerome Powell from the Federal Reserve did just that. They slashed the interest rate to 0%. That doesn't mean we're out of the woods to go negative, but at the same time, he has gotten what he has asked for. 
he specifically said, the president specifically said on Saturday at his press conference, he wanted the zero or negative interest rates to refinance the nation's debt at zero or negative interest rate. like the other nations around the globe that already have this position. Now, there are many negatives to a negative interest rate for the citizens of the country that have it. For this conversation, I want to focus on the fact that we have spent so much time as XRP hodlers and investors and speculators that the level playing field is to simply put the asset in between everyone's currency. Yes, that is a part of the equation for the resolution and the institution of a new financial system. However, I firmly believe as you watch these numbers plummet right before your eyes as we talk here today, this is the other part of that equation. Currently, we have been experiencing a strength in the dollar that has been crushing the rest of the globe. Maybe, just maybe, a part of this level playing field, this desire for zero or negative interest rates, requires this overbought market to decline and even collapse in order for us to truly have a level playing field. All right, guys, hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Do me a favor. If you like this content, please share and retweet on whatever platforms that you are on in social media. Let's extend the conversation. And whatever you do, head on a swivel. You never know. This is crypto. And the convergence of the traditional and the digital asset markets are on a absolute runaway course to collide not too long from now. I really do believe that the only way out of this mess is for them to turn to a neutral asset that they can use as a new liquidity tool and I believe that they can deem it a financial market utility which makes it systemically important and once that happens they can give that evaluation based on all of the needs of utility flow and payment demand and reprice set the asset to serve those needs. Catch you on the next one.